dominion over creation told us to go into all the me in my master builder hat. Pretty cool, huh? I've been inside all day working on this Cali creation. It's a magic mini play place. Do you want to take a look around? I think I thought of everything. Let's go! Okay, so I'm about to show you the pool. Can you imagine a magical play place with a magical pool? Oh, the possibilities! Like, here is the diving board. But this diving board allows you to jump three times higher than you actually can! Wait, what? Oh no! Watch out! Don't wreck my magical play place! Phew! Everything is still good. I want to show you guys the playroom. Oh! Oh! You will never believe it! Let's check it out! So, here is the playroom of my play place. Prepare yourself for awesomeness overload! This right here is the magic carpet where you sit and read stories. But when you read the stories, this magic carpet actually magically flies you away to where the stories are happening. Can you believe it? Oh no! The playroom! Phew! Everything is still good. I'm gonna keep protecting my good Cali creation while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the very beginning of everything, there wasn't anything but God. It was just dark and a whole lot of nothing, but God was there. God decided the first thing to do was turn on the lights. He spoke and the lights came on. So on the first day of creation, God made light. Now there was light and dark. There was day and night. God saw that what was made and called it good. God kept making. On the second day of creation, God made the sky. 
On the third day, God made the land and the seas. Once God made these, God stepped back again and called what he had made good. And God kept on making. God made all the plants that would fill the land. God called the plants good. On the fourth day of creation, God made the stars, the sun, and moon and called them good. Then on the fifth day, God made all the sea creatures and the birds to fly in the sky, and he called them good. On the sixth day, God made the animals to walk, run, crawl, or slither on the ground and called them good also. Then God made his favorite thing. He made people like you and me, and he made us for a very important purpose, to take care of all that God had made up to that point. When God was done making all of this, people included, God called it all very, very good. Then God took a rest from making and enjoying all that was made, which is something God likes for us to do as well. Take time to enjoy our family dog or cat. Take time to look at the stars or a sunset. Take time to watch the birds outside and take time to thank God for all these things. When we do this, it helps us to remember that God makes good things. Whoa! After hearing all that, I had to take off my master builder hat and take a break from my magical playhouse to come outside. Because the real master builder is God! God made all this, and it's still here for us to enjoy. And it's so good! Let me show you around. This is a tree. They are the best. Better than any playroom I've ever made. You can climb them, swing from them, or just watch their leaves blow in the wind. Pretty cool, huh? I think trees are one of my favorite things that God made. My magical play place is awesome. And I'm so glad God made us with creativity to make things. But God is the real master builder because... God makes good things. You know what my favorite thing that God made is? You! Do you want to sing with me? Some more time out here in the real Master Builders Play Place. Bye!